Hey, my name is Sandeep Tekchandani. I'm the founder of Sandeep.mba and welcome to my GMAT video lesson. In this GMAT video lesson, we'll learn the fundamental strategy for GMAT critical reasoning. This strategy can be applied to each and every critical reasoning question that will appear in your GMAT exam. So let's take a look at the first point of that strategy. Read the question thoroughly. Please read very carefully the set of statements on which a question is based. You should focus on four things. The facts and figures presented. What is not stated but necessarily implies from what is stated. What is claimed to follow from the facts and figures given in the question. And finally, the compelling reason behind claims and conclusions. Determine the conclusion. When you attempt critical reasoning questions, you will observe that the conclusion may not always appear at the end of the passage. The conclusion may come somewhere in the middle or even at the beginning. No matter what, you should try to discover subtle hints in the passage that a perspective follows logically. Answer the precise question. Some students like to read the question before reading the passage. Please. Do not assume that you know what you will be asked in the question. A viewpoint may have prominent mistakes and one question may ask you to spot them. However, another question may direct you to select the answer that does not describe a flaw in its reasoning. Eventually, you must read all the answers carefully. When you take the GMAT exam, please do not assume that a given answer is the best without first reading all the choices. So this was the fundamental strategy for GMAT critical reasoning. You must always read the question thoroughly, determine the conclusion, answer the precise question and read all the answers carefully. I hope my GMAT video lesson was clear and it will help you to crack the GMAT exam. That is all my friends. If you found my video lesson helpful, then you should go to sandeep.mba for more information on the GMAT, how to prepare for the GMAT and applying to business schools. You should also click on that like button and let me know in the comments which topics you would like me to cover in my future video lessons. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed, then go ahead and click on that bell so that you'll get notified about my future video lessons. All the best.